Well, hello there and welcome to Mile High Living. I'm Emily McKenzie filling in for Gina Bellich. Well, it's so exciting. It's almost here. This Thursday, the Great American RV Show is coming to the Colorado Convention Center and we're telling you this one is the real deal. But you don't have to wait till Thursday because we're bringing you the dealers for a little preview. And today our spotlight is on the Van Smith. So happy to be talking to CEO Aaron Hawk today. Thanks for being here, buddy. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, I, your concept is so original and so neat. So let's just get it going with telling us about Van Smith. You, how did you get into this industry? Absolutely. So um, I started off working on a coal mine and uh, up in uh, northeastern Wyoming, and it was just getting really old, really fast. Mm. Uh, so I decided to. Uh, build a tiny house. So I sold my house. I sold a lot of what I owned. I had two cars. I got rid of one of those and just put all of my energy and my money into building this house on a trailer. Uh, my parents thought I was crazy. My friends thought I was, you know, it was a bad idea. Um, took me a little over a year to build, but after I got, uh, got done with that, realized I had a little bit of a talent for doing this kind of thing. And my cousin Roberto reached out to me at his sister's wedding and we uh, traveled on over to uh, San Francisco. He said he would give me $2,500 and his van. We would build the thing out in a dirt parking lot in downtown San Francisco. And we would, you know, if it worked out, take pictures of it, sell it and start a business. And that was in 2016. And you guys are still going. Yeah. You know, those people, when you see those TV shows on like the little houses, I know people are like, oh, that's so cool. And they dream about it. So good for you for actually making it happen. Uh. Now let's talk about CNC, not Music Factory, but what is CNC and how do you guys incorporate it? So we were trying to figure out a way I've never, I've never owned a business before and like trying to figure out how to scale a business and, and how are you going to do that is with, um, you know, slimming down manufacturing times. So essentially what the, the, the CNC machine does is we build the entire van within a computer program called Fusion 360. And so the cool thing about that is building this entire thing. You don't have to use any material. You don't have to, you know, the overhead's low. So you build this van inside of this computer software. And then once it's done and you have everything checked off, you'll send the, the, the whole software to the machine. And then the machine will just cut all of these cabinets out. So they're always perfect. They always look the same. Uh, it really takes out a lot of the human error. So that way we could just oh, assemble and put the thing in the van. Looking at these uh, pictures of the inside of the van, how cool. And people are creating these. People are building their own little dream sprinters. Yeah. So what? how many different choices do people make during the process? Oh, wow. And I think that's the cool thing about the van space. And that's what really drives people in to, uh, to make the choice over, you know, either a huge RV or a smaller little camper that they can kind of have their say in how they're going to build it, what it's going to look like. But um, people will put anything from extra seats. We did one with six extra seats in it because they had six kids. Uh, a pop top, which is essentially a tent that mounts to the roof that you can get in from the inside. Oh, from the inside? Yeah. So oh, it's, oh my gosh. It basically turns a van into a two bedroom little rolling vacation home, which is pretty neat. And now I asked this off air, but can you add a bathroom to one of these customized vans or sprinters? Absolutely. That is one of the biggest things people are asking for. Uh, but, you know, enclosed showers with a little bathroom, we have specific cubbies that hold a cassette style toilet and you just drop this thing right in. And, you know, when the cabinets are closed, you don't even know it's there. So. I, I mean, with the apartment prices in Denver these days, like the Van Smith, it just, it's getting more and more appealing the more you're talking to me about this. Now, how many different sizes of the vans are there that people can choose from? So we mainly focus on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. And through that, there are three different sizes. There is the 144, which is about the same size as a full, full size pickup footprint wise. And then we have our 170 and the 170 is a really popular with people who are going to either live in them full time or have children. And then the 170 extended and we're getting a lot more inquiries with the 170 extended. But that is a it's a very big van. Well, um, so now tell me the people that are coming in to pick their size, pick their little dream vans, who's your typical customer? 
We're seeing a lot of people who are in the early retirement stages or are freshly retired. They spent their entire life working, 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 and now they realize like, all right, I've got all this time off. These are all the things that I wanted to do. And how, how are we gonna you know, make this happen? A lot of people like to just check out national parks or go ski all their favorite mountains or go mountain bike all over the country. So it's a very interesting, very active group of retirees. And I would say that's between 50 and 60% of our clientele. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, and the rest, you know, half of that would be families, uh, younger families who have children under the age of 12 and they just want to take their kids out. They want to go have, you know, build some long lasting memories. And then the remainder, you have an interesting group of these, these young professionals or digital nomads who are, I'm gonna build this van and I'm just gonna travel, I'm gonna live wherever I want. And if you can work remotely, you know, post COVID and you guys are in Boulder and this is such a Colorado thing. And I was saying that if you have one of these vans, it really does open up the whole world to you. It does. You know, like any weekend you can just get in your house on wheels and go explore. So exciting. We're so excited to have you here. Thanks yeah. for being with us, Aaron. Absolutely. Find the perfect vehicle for you at thevansmith.com. And remember, the Great American RV Show will be rolling into the Colorado Convention Center this Thursday, March 30th, and then it runs through Saturday the 1st. For more information and to purchase tickets, visit greatamericanrv.show. They paid for today's segment, and we'll be right back.